Francine has a rectangular piece of wood with an area of 17 and one quarter square feet. The length of the piece of wood measures 23 ninths feet. Calculate the width of the rectangle. Express your answer as an improper fraction in lowest terms. The first strategy that we are going to use to find the width of this rectangle is by setting up an algebraic equation. Now we know that the length multiplied by the width of any rectangle will end up giving us the area of that rectangle. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the given length, which is 23 ninths, and we are going to multiply that by w. And we're going to leave that as a variable for now because that's what we are trying to figure out. And we know that the product of 23 ninths and whatever w is will result in an area of 17 and 1 quarter. Now that we have an algebraic equation set up, all we have to do is isolate our variable to figure out what it's equal to. Now the first thing that we want to do with this is rewrite the equation in such a manner that this mixed number is an improper fraction. So let's rewrite this as 23 ninths w is equal to 4 times 17 is 68 plus 1 is 69 over 4. Remember when renaming mixed numbers your denominator is not going to change. And for your numerator, you just multiply these two values, and then you add the numerator to that product. Now what we want to do to isolate for the w is to get rid of this fractional coefficient of 23 over 9. And to get rid of any coefficient that is a fractional value, you can multiply it by its own reciprocal. So I'm going to write 9 23 right next to 23 over 9. And what can happen now that we multiply this value by its own reciprocal is it allows us to cancel out both of these 23s and it allows us to cancel out both of these 9s. And remember when you're canceling out, the values really become the number 1. So what that ends up giving us is a coefficient that is 1 over 1, which can be simplified just to the number 1. Whenever your coefficient is 1, you do not have to write the number 1. You can just write the variable with the understanding that nothing in front of the variable has a coefficient of 1. Now what we have to do to balance our equation is to multiply the opposite side by that same reciprocal. So we're going to multiply 69 quarters by 9 twenty-thirds. Now what I'm going to do next is look for opportunities for cancellation in this problem. Well, 23 is a prime number, so it only has two factors, 1 and 23. Well, 23 can be divided into itself exactly once, and 23 can be divided into 69 exactly three times. And those are the only numbers that can be canceled out. So what we have remaining on the top is a 3 and a 9, and that gives us a product of 27, and the denominators 4 and 1 give us a product of 4. So we would say the width of this rectangle is equal to 27 quarters. Now this problem wanted us to express our answer as an improper fraction. Now if we did want to write it as a mixed number, we would take 27 and divide it by 4, and 4 can be divided into 27, a total of 6 times, which is 24. And that leaves us with 3 left over. So we would take that 3, write it as our numerator, and our divisor over here becomes our denominator. So the width of this rectangle is 6 and 3 quarters feet, and as an improper fraction, it is 27 over 4. Now another way of solving this problem is by taking the area, which is 17 and 1 quarter, and dividing it by the given dimension, which is 23 ninths. So we can rename 17 and 1 quarter as 69 over 4, 
and we would multiply that by the reciprocal of 23 over 9, which is 9 23rds. And notice at this point, we end up basically having the same problem that we did over here when we set up our algebraic equation. 23 can go into itself once. 23 can go into 69 three times. And that leaves us with 3 times 9 for the numerator, which is 27, and 4 times 1 for the denominator, which is 4. So doing this strategy, we would also come up with an answer of 27 quarters.